Chris McNamara with Super Topo. We're checking out how to do a lower out. Uh, this comes after either a pendulum or a big traversing pitch where the leader didn't leave a lot of gear or the rope's going way over to the side and there's no way to safely get over there without doing a lower out. So first thing you do is if you have any backup knots, you let them out. You then want to take your grigri, or in my case a cinch, and make sure that the rope, it's, it's on and it's close because you want, you, this is a very important time to be backed up because uh, if your ascenders are going to pop off, it's probably going to be in this type of scenario where the rope is going way to the side. So the upper ascender, you want to put it up and leave a few inches below the beaner. You don't want to get it jammed up in there. Bottom ascender, I put just kind of at a comfortable location so that I can stand. If this were steeper, I might have to fifi in to uh, the lower ascender, but it's not steep so I can balance myself here. Now what I'm going to do is take the rope, take a big bite of rope from my waist, and I'm going to pass it through the piece that I'm going to be leaving behind when I do this lower out. So in this case, this sling is going to get left behind. Often when you're doing a lower out, there will either be a bolt or a piton or a fixed piece with a sling on it. And you take the bite of rope, you're going to pass it through the sling, bring it back to the harness, take a beaner, Clip it to your belay loop, clip that bite of rope to the beaner, and now you have these four strands here. And what you can do is start yarding up, pulling yourself closer into that piece. Now what I'm going to do is shift my weight to my bottom foot, and this is going to let me take the top ascender off, pass the piece, put it back on, and now I can take my weight off the bottom ascender, and now I've put all my weight on the strands that I put through the lever piece. I can now unclip the rope through that beaner. I'm going to take this beaner with me. And now I can start letting the rope out and doing the lower out. And you basically just lower until you're about under the piece. And once you're under the piece or close enough, you go back to your beaner attached to your belay loop, you undo it, and then you can release that strand and pull it through and now you're ready to keep going. At this point what I would probably do is tie um, a backup knot just because there's probably going to be a lot of extra rope hanging below you and you don't want more extra rope than you can manage for all the reasons we've covered. You don't want it getting stuck in a crack or, or swinging over and getting hooked on a flake. So that's how you do a lower out maybe one of the more complex parts of cleaning on a big wall, but you practice a few times and you'll have it dialed.